Ah, yes. What could be better than working on a septic tank in the middle of the summer? Our septic tank is basically a concrete box buried in the ground with a concrete hatch that you have to dig out and open every time you want to pump out the septic tank. This is the second time I've done this job since we've owned the house and I really am getting tired of having to dig it out and expose it every time so I'm going to put in a riser. I bought a 16 inch riser kit from a US company called AeroStream. I'm not sponsored, didn't get a special deal, I paid for it fair and square but the product is so good I decided to make this video. To be fair, as a Canadian getting stuff from the US is expensive but the folks at AeroStream were pretty upfront about it, corresponded a lot and let me know right up front that there was going to be duty, taxes and shipping but I decided to go with it anyway. Wherever possible I like to try and support a local Canadian or US based company and these guys fit the bill. The package was delivered by UPS about three or four days after I'd ordered it and everything was included. I didn't have to go and buy a single thing. I already had most of the tools I needed, like a drill or an impact driver. The kit came with a lid, the riser, a safety grate and the adapter flange to mount it to the concrete tank. All the hardware that was needed as well as very clear instructions. It even came with a butyl rubber tape to seal the tank to the concrete and also to seal the riser to the flange. Besides the inconvenience of having to dig out a hole every time I want to empty out the septic tank, I have an additional problem in that the supply line from the propane tank to the house runs right over the septic tank and you can see it in this video. That is something I really don't want to mess with at all. In fact, if I was going to do it right I should dig it out and relay it but I'm not going to do that right now. So for now I'm just going to put in the riser and that'll be a permanent fix and it means I don't have to dig it out anymore. With the hole roughed out I dry fit the flange to make sure that it's going to fit properly. Even though it's probably not critical I did brush the top of the tank clean to make sure that the seal would make a good bond. Using the sealant supplied with the kit, I laid a bead all the way around the bottom in the little groove that would seal the flange to the tank. While the flange was still outside, I decided to run the bead on the top of the flange that would seal the riser to the flange. I thought it would be easier to do it this way rather than mess with it when it was mounted on the top of the septic tank. With all the sealant applied to the flange, it was time to open it up and install it over the hole. I removed the protective tape from the bead at the bottom of the flange and installed it over the opening. Using a masonry bit, it was a simple matter of drilling a hole and then installing the hardware that came with the kit to fix the flange to the concrete tank. With the four corners securely fastened, it was time to remove the protective tape on the sealant and apply the riser over the hole. Using the screws that were supplied with the kit, it was a simple matter of fixing the flange to the riser. With the riser fixed, it was time to install the safety grate at the bottom of the hole. Next it was time to install the cover and they even supplied the bit that was going to be required for the special screws.
Job done, and it was time to backfill the hole. A little cleanup, and it was ready for the next job on the honeydew list. The only question I had now was, what the heck am I going to do with this thing? Maybe I can turn it into a nice Japanese-style garden table, but I think I'm going to have to give it a really good cleaning first. Thanks for watching. See you next time.